Hi YouTube, this is Train from Dad Talk and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on the channel, please like and subscribe and please add your comments. Um, as I discussed um, prior, um, we'll be talking about a whole bunch of different topics, um, whether it's talking about cooking, um, family. Um, but today we're going to talk about um, cooking. So my wife is preparing her uh, famous buffalo wings um, that she's been making for the last several years. Um, they're fantastic. And she's also going to be making a dish called mussel marinara. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Take away. Well, this is my mussels marinara dish. And um, I just want to say that, you know, I've had people who have never had mussels marinara that was always scared to try it. They tried my mussels marinara and they loved it. I have those who have had it before, hated it, tried mine and absolutely love it. So the key to making mussels is lots and lots of garlic and, and some chopped onion and um, just making sure there's a really good uh, um, hot sizzle in the pan when it's ready uh, and getting it going. So if you look, see here, I'm coarsely chopping some whole garlic and it's, it's a very coarse chop. You know, you don't have to do it fine or uh, have a whole lot of small pieces uh, because when you bite into your mussels, you, you want a piece of that good garlic uh, in there. Um, it's, it's really good and, and it has a, a creamy texture uh, once it's uh, cooked through. And then you wanna take, and this, is, this was a, this was about a good dozen um, garlic cloves, maybe a little bit more. And then I have a, a, a half of a white onion uh, that I'm going to uh, chop. Mm -hmm. And um, doesn't have to be finely chopped. Again, a good rough chop is good. And okay. I think you bought the, and these are, these garlic cloves that you bought were already pre-cut, right? So you can buy some that. Yeah, you can buy the garlic already peeled in a bag. Uh, if you don't want to do the work uh, with uh, peeling them, you can buy them already peeled in a bag. I, I get mine from Sam's Club, uh, a giant bag of uh, peeled garlic cloves. And I'm just going to transfer the, the garlic and the onions uh, to a plate here, and then I'm going to go over to my working my uh, stove here. Okay. And I have a hot pan, uh, so I have my the onions and the garlic. I'm going to put them in first. I have my um, one. Um, I think this is maybe about two pounds of uh, mussels. That's the standard size that you get in in, in Shoprite. Uh, and I have some cooking sherry here. You can use. Uh, sherry, you can use white wine, uh, whichever is your favorite, but not red wine. Uh, red wine is more for beef. When you do seafood and chicken, it's more of a sherry and uh, white wine. Okay. And then I have two cans uh, of 24 ounce crushed tomatoes. You can do diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, or you can use marinara sauce. I like crushed tomatoes. I also have about a quarter cup of uh, minced garlic as well as the coarse chopped garlic. So that's why I said lots of garlic is key. I have about a tablespoon of coarse uh, black pepper and uh, some coarse sea salt as well. So I have the pan nice and hot here. I'm going to transfer the onion and the garlic. I'm going to saute that a bit here. And the smell of that garlic is divine. It is wonderful. And let this cook. I'll turn the heat up more, uh, more of a medium high. And let that render down for a good minute. I'm gonna hold off putting the, the minced garlic in, you know, until this a minute passed because 
that will cook very quickly. I want to get a good brown on the coarse, coarse garlic and um, make sure um, that gets in there well. So now I'm going to add the coarse garlic. I want to add the black pepper. And the coarse sea salt. Now I know um, mussels marinara is, you know, comes from the sea, so it has a good amount of salt in it. But um, when you're adding sauce to it, you know, you want to add a little bit more salt. And then, you know, when you have mussels, and then if by some chance you see one that starts to open up, get rid of it right away. Now he wasn't open when I cleaned these. Uh, that means they're not edible anymore. So make sure if their mouths are open that you throw them away. That means they're dead. You, you want live uh, mussels when you're cooking them. Okay, great. That smells wonderful. So now I'm going to add the mussels. I'll take that. So we're going to begin incorporating the garlic in with the mussels. Make sure I turn my heat up pretty high now. Because once I added those mussels in there, the temperature dropped. So now I gotta turn the heat up a little bit more so the cooking process doesn't slow down. I just had it down to a medium high because I didn't want to burn the garlic. There's nothing worse than burning garlic. So they're beginning to open up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So does the heat make them open their mouths? The, the heat kills them and as, as they um, pass, they begin to open up their mouth. But you want to make sure their mouths open at the time um, that you're cooking them, not before. So now it's a good high heat. I'm going to add, this is about a 12 ounce um, bottle of, of cooking sherry. I'm going to add about half of this, this, uh, this bottle. Okay. And this is a, is this relatively simple to, um, to make from your standpoint? Yeah, it's from, I mean, I do a lot of cooking. I think it's relatively simple. Um, just, you know, the onion and the garlic, a little wine, tomato sauce, and just a little bit of seasoning. Okay. Um, I think it's fairly, fairly simple to, and to the, make. And, and then as far as like the cost. So a bag of mussels cost? So a bag of mussels can run you anywhere, if it's on sale, $4. Okay. Um, just to about $6. Okay. Now if you get organic, some people like organic seafood, you can, it might run you about 8 or $9 a bag. Okay. And this is your standard size bag. If you go somewhere like Costco, uh, mm -hmm. you, you'll get three times the quantity for $10. It, okay. I mean, it's, it's really an economical uh, dish. Okay. And you, you feel like you're eating lobster, you know, uh, when it's all done. Okay. Um, so, you know, a really inexpensive seafood dish. So the, um, the wine is uh, evaporating and rendering off. And, and what, it, what it's also doing is it's, it's infusing that garlic flavor and it, it's infusing it into the, um, into the mussels. Okay. So I just let maybe about half of that cherry already evaporated. Okay. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to go ahead and, and add the uh, crushed tomatoes. Again, two 24-ounce cans. Okay. Now, do you always use crushed tomatoes or sometimes use whole tomatoes or is it? If I have a can of crushed or a can of diced tomatoes, I'll, I'll use that. Okay. Uh, sometimes I, I'll just have regular pasta sauce, marinara and um, that'll work as well. 
but I, I like I like crushed tomatoes the best. Um, you know, the, the best Italian cooks, uh, if, if they do use a, a you know a can, they will use crushed uh, tomato to make their their sauce from um, from scratch. Um, and even at times diced tomato, um, they they often don't use the the, the jarred uh, pasta sauce. So uh, if they do, you know, they prefer the homemade. So I will put the lid on and let it let it simmer. Thanks for the lid, honey. So I'll let this simmer, and it will further cook, and the mussels will open up and maybe about another 10 minutes or so um, you don't want to cook them too much because you don't want them rubbery um, but uh, if it's a real big batch maybe you're going to cook it for about 10 minutes it'll cook all the way through a uh, small batch maybe seven to eight minutes um, but you don't want to overcook them okay sounds good so we'll we'll show you the finished product when they're we're done okay guys so the muscle marinara has finished cooking and now what we're going to do is um, what my wife is doing. She's transferring the, um, the mussels onto a serving um, platter. Yes. So I'm here and I'm plating the mussels onto a serving platter. And this is how you would normally um, present mussels. I mean, if you're having a, you know, a... A party, you know, with a lot of different dishes and you're using aluminum pans. I mean, you can transfer it to aluminum pan, but I do like the um, putting it in a nice um, white dish for serving. And uh, so I'm just making sure I get all that nice garlic. Okay. And this is how the mussel marinara looks when it's done. And um, it's a delicious dish. It, it smells wonderful. And I hope you enjoy. Bon appetit. Thank you.